Here we are, just smacking up some test leads. So. so a couple of spades there for testing the fan, connecting the fan to the battery. So literally let me just this one is for the testing the relays, well, bypassing the relays to make sure that the actual circuit's working. So we're just making a little jumper. So I have to make two of these, bypass the two relays that are in circuit. Now if the fan runs, the actual circuit's fine and it will be the actual air conditioning control unit. So I need to make two of those, two relays. Hi everybody, very quick video because we're going to lose the light very shortly. The air conditioning fan for the Bongo stopped working a few weeks back so the last couple of days I've been investigating it so I'll show you exactly where we're up to I've, I've sorted the problem right so first off well I've had to take both of the ledger batteries out well sorry the ledger battery and the main battery remove the air intake that will show the fan. Now the first and easiest job is to check the fuse um, and it's the that 30 amp one. Uh, now I don't know what the end one is but we'll ignore that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, it's one of those two. One's the heater, one's the fan. Uh, both of those checked out fine. So the next usual problem is on the ones with air conditioning, there is a transistor in circuit. Now you've got two screws there. You can take the transistor module out. I checked the transistor, worked fine. I'll do another video inside of the actual transistor module transistor module so it's just those two screws that connector comes off and that unit lifts out uh, the next job is to disconnect that connector and using two test leads plug those into the connector of the fan and touch them on the fan uh, touch them on the battery, which is down there, out of the way. And if the fan runs, then it's not the fan that's at fault. If the fan doesn't run, the fan is at fault. So, but the fan run, so that wasn't the fault either. So the next thing, or the only real, the only, there's only two other options. The actual air conditioning control panel or one of the two relays now we've got on this side in that position so the uh, second one in of a possible four that's G305 that's one of the relays tested the relays, the relays worked alright, so then I just took them out of circuit by putting a, a link in and at that point and this is G307 uh, exactly the same relay but oh there it is on the floor that screws bolts onto there so it's the third one in line That worked all right. So then I put the links in, 
and blow me but it still wasn't working now that at that point the fan should run and it had me scratching my head ended up having to take the front off because earth point one that was the only thing left in the circuit that could possibly be a problem because I'd even taken the negative side of the link out touched it to the tray and the fan ran so pointed to an earth so to get that off you've got to take the front drill off front headlight and then you can get to earth one which is behind the headlight I took that apart the plate itself was quite corroded so I polished that up with a bit of wet and dry tightened the female contacts up slightly just with a screwdriver pushed it all back together reconnected it that sorted the problem so I'll undo that transistor and take it in and film that part right filming this in reverse as I'm putting it back together again to get the head height out you've got two screws on that side two screws on that side and you've got to remove the indicator first the indicator has a clip at the bottom one screw at the top so you undo that screw and pull the indicator straight out obviously there's the headlamp connector at the back you need to take that off to completely remove the headlight the grill is just as easy that's one screw in the middle at the top and you've got four clips sorry five clips two at that side one in the middle two at this side just show you the clip just very gently push it down and there you go it's unreleased so you do that with all five unscrew your screw that comes straight off so we're almost back together again we've only got the batteries to put in as I say I'll take the transistor out and show you inside but I'll put the batteries back in and the air intake back in and then that's on the, the relays obviously the relays need to clip back on and screw on that one doesn't actually screw on it clips on there's a on the actual relay itself there's a, a slot and that slides up there so you've got to remember to put your rubber boot on clip your contact uh, your, your connector in and then slide your relay onto the bracket so this is the transistor module arms up easily you just need to take the plastic body off the heat shrink heat heat sink now these are the three pins of your transistor and you can test them with multimeter set to the resistance range and from the base to the collector should be open circuit one way and measures about 500 ohms the other way that's from the, from the center to both external pins one way will be different from the other so anything provided it's open circuit one way and has a lowish resistance the other way that means you transistor still working perfectly fine so I did take it all apart measured everything else as well you, if you'd want to take it apart especially if your transistor is actually blown you'll have to desolder these pins using soldering iron and some solder wick or a, a solder sucker do it reasonably carefully it doesn't have to be too careful but 
you need to get all, rid of all the solder. Either that or else get an iron that you can touch all three at once and then lift them up as they're all melted. If you can't do that and your transistor is definitely blown, you can perhaps prise this up at this side enough to get underneath and clip the legs and then you can just desolder them one at a time uh, because the transistor bolts to this heatsink here, bolts about that side there approximately, sits across and the legs bend up so there is a bit of give in the legs but this one's fine so going straight back on the van. Right that's how to fix the air conditioning on a bongo, like, comment and subscribe, cheers, see you next time, bye.